greens, potatoes, tomatoes, lamb, rams, hogs, dogs, chicken, turkeys, rabbits, you name it! Hello, and welcome to the special edition of Cats TV. We are all about the turkey games. Here's Alyssa Johnson with Mr. Branchcomb and everything you need to know to be turkey ready. I got beans, greens, potatoes, tomatoes, lamb, rams, hogs, dogs, beans, greens, potatoes, tomatoes, chicken, turkeys, rat, you name Hi, I'm Alyssa, and this is Cats TV interviewing Principal Branch Comfort at Turkey Olympics. What events will there be for Turkey Olympics? Well, we're working on a couple of things. Right now we have a dodgeball tournament, a five-on-five dodgeball tournament. Um, we also have a, a three-on-three basketball tournament. We're working on a gaming tournament, so I believe it may be Rocket League from what I'm hearing. Um, we have a uh, academic um, challenge. Um, it look, looks like we're going to try to set up a karaoke contest. Um, so we're trying to we're trying to make it where it involves all students. Something that um, something that it's, anybody could be interested in. Um, I believe we have a cornhole tournament going on. Um, so um, we're trying to work on multiple things here. That's nice. Um, what grade do you think is going to win? Well, I hope it's not about grade against grade. Um, I told the coaches that are handling the teams and sign-ups that I want to have some diversity um, on our teams. That means uh, multiple grades, not just eighth grade boys going and dominating the team, uh, but maybe getting sixth graders and seventh graders and eighth graders and, and girls and boys. Um, but uh, at the end of the day, I believe the school's going to win. We're, we're going to encourage kids to get off the ineligible list and, and uh, get their AR points. So uh, that's kind of the way I look at it. We're, we're all going to win. How do you qualify for Turkey Olympics? So again, you got to be off the ineligible list, so we got to be passing our classes. Um, we have to have 14 AR points, which is um, what's expected at, this, uh, at that point in the year. Um, your attendance has to be below... Uh, 10%, so you're at 90%, you're, uh, you're not um, absent more than 10%, um, which at that point I believe is around six to seven absences, uh, less, you got to have less than that. Um, so uh, looking at a lot of things, and again, it's just to encourage kids uh, to come to school, not get suspended, you can't be suspended in the month of October, November, um, got to get those AR points, those are really important, and then obviously um, to have good grades and, and make sure we're not on the ineligible list. What is your favorite event? What's my favorite event? Well, um, I'm a former PE teacher, so I like to think that at one point I was a pretty good dodgeball player. Of course, that's against elementary kids. I was really good as a 20-year-old against elementary kids. So uh, I would say dodgeball would be my favorite event. That's all we have for now. See you back at the desk. Thanks, Alyssa. Another fun Thanksgiving event is our canned food drive. You know, you love the scene announcements each day. Thor Lamac Lamore caught up with Miss Stidham to fill us in on the details. Hi, I'm Thor, and welcome to Cats TV. I'm interviewing Miss Stidham about the canned food drive. What do? You, why did you choose to do the canned food drive? Well, the holidays are always a time when we have a lot of families in McIntosh County that need a little bit of help. Um, typically. All families gather together, and so you need lots of food to provide a big meal, and that can be really expensive, especially right now with groceries. So right before Thanksgiving is the best time for us to gather food for families in need, and that'll help get them through both Thanksgiving and Christmas. Do you like doing the, the, can, the canned food drive? I think, um, I, of course, I like it. I like the idea that we as a school are doing community service and acting philanthropically and doing good deeds. I think we only become better people by those experiences. What event do you want to do after the canned food drive? Ooh, I think I want to take a nap after the canned food drive, but 
probably the next big event would be our play, The Christmas Crisis. Back to you at the desk. Now here is Riley with all things sports. Potatoes, tomatoes, chicken, turkeys, rabbits, beans, creams, potatoes, tomatoes, beans, creams, potatoes, tomatoes. I'm here with some of the 7th and 8th grade basketball players. How did your last game go? Good, we won. We won. We won. We won by one point. What position do you play? Post. Point guard. Power forward. God. How, how do you think your next game is going to go? We're going to win. Yeah, we're going to win. We're going to be tournament champions. Yes, sir. What is some of the best advice you got from a coach? Hustle. Focus. Be smart. Don't do dumb stuff. Back to you at the desk. That's it for us here at Cats TV. Thanks for watching and go, go Cats! Creams, potatoes, creams, potatoes, beans, 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 creams, potatoes, tomatoes, chicken, 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 beans, beans, creams, potatoes, tomatoes, chicken, chicken, chicken. You name it! You name it! You name it! You name it! You name it. Potatoes, tomatoes, lamb, rice, raw, raw, beans, greens, potatoes, tomatoes, chicken, turkeys, rat, you name it. Beans, greens, potatoes, tomatoes, lamb, rams, raw, raw, beans, greens, potatoes, tomatoes, chicken, turkeys, chicken, turkeys, beans, greens, potatoes, tomatoes, lamb, rams, raw, raw, beans, greens, potatoes, tomatoes, chicken, turkeys, rat, you name it. Beans, greens, potatoes, tomatoes, beans, greens, potatoes, tomatoes. Beans, greens, potatoes, greens, potatoes, beans, 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 greens, potatoes, tomatoes, chicken, turkeys, chicken, turkeys, beans, beans, greens, potatoes, tomatoes, chicken, turkeys, chicken, You name it! You name it! You name it! You name it! Abby and I'm with Simpel, Miss Simpel. Um, we're here for the book talk. So what's going on in the library? Um, things have been going great in the library this year. I am super proud of all the students. Everybody has stepped up like we talked about, um, taking really good care of everything and doing a great job. Super proud. Um, most everybody's reading their books, turning them in, doing really good. Um, AR points? AR points are going pretty well. I would like to see a lot more people getting on the 25 and up board, but we do have several people all the way on up to 100 already and a few more getting ready to add on and quite a few up to 50. So we are trucking right along. My 25 is getting pretty darn full. We should have it pretty well covered by the end of the nine weeks. Very, very proud of everybody. Keep on reading. Okay, see you back at the desk. Oh, Hustle. Jolene, Jolene, oh, I forgot. Jolene, Jolene, <laughs> Jolene, Jolene, Jolene. Good morning, everybody. Welcome Please to the library. I'm here with Cats TV and I'm interviewing Jolene, some of the 7th and 8th grade Jolene, basketball players. Jolene, what would, but how did you? Please don't I'm take sorry. him just because you can. Please don't take him just because you can. Seven with flaming <laughs> locks of auburn hair with I'm ivory Cats skin and eyes of emerald green. Your smile is like a red of spring. Your voice is soft like summer rain and I cannot Jolene He talks about you in his sleep And there's nothing I can do to keep from crying When he calls your name Jolene 